One morning, Leo awoke to an eerie silence. The usual hum of activity was missing, and a sense of dread crept over him. As he surveyed his surroundings, he noticed fewer zombies attending to the fields and livestock. Jake, his prized creation, was nowhere to be found. Leo searched tirelessly, moving through the fields, the barns, and even the dark corners where zombies usually lurked. But Jake was gone, along with half the zombie workforce. Frustration gave way to a deep, unsettling fear. Life carried on, albeit with fewer hands to help, but Leo couldn't shake the feeling that he was being watched. It was as if shadows had eyes, following his every move. He grew paranoid, setting traps around his sleeping quarters and constructing dummies to lie in his place as he rested. He moved his camp frequently, never staying in one place for too long. Every rustle of the wind, every snap of a twig put him on edge. His once peaceful kingdom now felt like a prison of uncertainty and looming danger. Jake's betrayal was not just a loss, it was a haunting. Leo's empire, which had felt so secure, was now fragile, teetering on the edge of collapse. The threat was not an external force, but one he had unwittingly nurtured and grown. Jake was out there, somewhere, plodding in the shadows, and Leo knew it was only a matter of time before the storm broke. Leo fortified his defenses, sharpening his weapons and his instincts, knowing that the battle for his kingdom was far from over. The predator had become the prey, and the true fight for supremacy was just beginning. Thank you so much for making it this far. It would mean a lot to us if you liked and shared the video. Click on the profile to see it and more of our engaging stories. And if you haven't already, make sure you've subscribed or followed. Trust us, you don't want to miss out.